<laughs> freezing trying to walk. I just want to hug everyone. I just want to hug everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome back to a day in my life vlogmas. No, it's not vlogmas. I got so you <laughs> I got so used to saying vlogmas. It's no longer vlogmas. It's January and I haven't vlogged my life in a while. So today's gonna be a really good day to do that. You know what? It's close to 11. I need to do a workout. And I was like, I want to do a workout this morning. I want to go get a car wash this morning. You know why? That's not gonna happen. You slept in. Number two, was making content. Number three, I'm going on an adventure today. And that's why I'm taking you along for the ride. So welcome. Um, I was also gonna clean. I can still clean a little bit before we go. But anyway, uh, today's gonna be a fun day. So you're coming along for this adventure. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited to be vlogging again. Still in my pajamas. I'm always feeling like I'm in my pajamas. Anyway, let's get into the day. Okay. No, see you soon. Wow, look at this hair. That is a cute style for me. Wow, do you know what I said I wanted to do when I was vlogging this year is, um, I really wanted to make sure I was like dressed and like looked nice and stuff, but like, uh, here for the relatability. Okay, that's sweat. Also, look at, um, I made this last night, so I have some banana bread today. Bring some of that with me. I got to pack a little bag because I'm walking. Um, and then did not get to clean my house uh, or obviously take my car in for a car wash. So we're going to do that tomorrow. But literally, that's, that's it. So you can just watch me do a little quick stretch. And here in Canada, freedom. It was good. Um, I hope we're at the right place. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get the 
vlogging going? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing trying to walk. We're gonna make it. Check it. Look at that. Do we see that? I guess we're going in that. Oh, I gotta get in. Good job. Good job. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. As they were a year ago <laughs> But all will be okay I move on each and every day I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright Ah, okay, I don't even know if I like spoke much. I need to look back at the footage from today, but that was literally. I wonder if this is gonna work. That was what I was trying to say is that was literally the best day ever. It was so much fun. Um, and I just want to like be nice and cozy right now and just, I'm going to have a shower and just chill and relax and I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll do like a little weekend, I guess, in my life. I didn't do a great job at like explaining where I was or what I was doing because I get really weird, like vlogging in front of other people, which I know I need to get better at. But today was just like such a great day. Look how curly my hair is. So wild. Anyway, excited to chat more. <sighs> Whoa, look like I got punched in the face. Dude, I kind of look like a... Oh my God, wow. This is what I look like when I cry. Number one, I don't want to be feeling this. This is human, real human experiences and to normalize human emotions. And so I started Bravely Beautiful Brand. I write on the internet before, I talk about my feelings all the time. I think it's something that helps us feel not so alone when we're going through our own emotions and experiences in life. It takes a lot of courage to do this because there are people who would choose not to share uh, how they feel and get uncomfortable I mean, other people have big emotions and that's okay that's I've had to do a lot of learning that that's okay that that's that's on them that that doesn't have to be something that I have to fix or change about them but want anyone to feel like they're alone in their feelings or emotions or like they ever have to hide their feelings or emotions this is what I feel so passionate about because when I was going through dark times, I turned to people on the internet because they were open and they were talking about their feelings and what was going on for them. And that's something that I wish that, that I had or I was craving because I wanted to not feel so alone or different or weird. And so I do these things because I remember those, those feelings, right? And like, remember, what that was like and I still remember what that's like so anyway I wanted to put this in this vlog because literally I was just like dancing I did a workout I've done breath work today yesterday was amazing at the spa and I think a lot just wanted to be released one hand I am feeling so grateful and loved and, and supported and part of an amazing community and there's people around the world 
who feels similar to me about what's happening right now. And that is beautiful. Really sad because there are people who don't want people like me to be free, don't want us to experience life. And that feels really lonely. Just feels isolating, hurtful. Uh, and I know I'm not alone in feeling those emotions. It makes me sad that there was this beautiful movement in Canada that I believe the intentions were pure. And now people have decided to smush or the negative in and my Pisces rising and Pisces Venus really is, that hurts. It hurts because it's like, this was an opportunity to come together as a country. It literally breaks my heart knowing that there are going to be something. Someone is always going to be trying to divide. That's what it feels like inside of me right now. But it sucks and it, and it hurts to live a life that, that I love. And I want other people to do that. And I want them to experience their big dreams and visions. And I want them to <laughs> love and be kind to each other and support each other. I want people to hear each other. A world where we just get to be ourselves without consequence. You know, where unity literally means you don't, it's everyone by just being yourself, regardless of your belief systems or whatever your values, like we could just coexist. Feeling those feels today. It's all coming out from the last couple days. Uh, and just like, just did clearly a lot of like emotional purging. And some days it's easier to be stronger than others. And some days it's harder and it's emotional and it's sad and it's, to be part of and witness and it's literally all the things. So grateful that I get to be alive during this time. Like, so bizarre. <laughs> like song to, that I don't know what the song's called, but there's a lyric in a song that like keeps playing in my head and it's like, oh, what a time to be alive. <laughs> I just wanna hug everyone. <laughs> I just wanna hug everyone. I just wanna do like a collective group hug. That's literally how I feel. <laughs> This is part of today's vlog, I guess, this weekend. I just wanted to have a real life moment and just normalize feelings, emotions, and there's no shame in any of this. There's no shame in getting on the internet and talking about your feelings. Like, there's none. If it makes you uncomfortable, it's okay. Like, it used to make me uncomfortable. Now I'm just like, oh, this is part of this human earth school, I guess, you know? I feel a little bit better now, so. I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna go shower and, and do something about this, but. <laughs> oh, shoes. It's just wet and rainy out, folks, but I just went in, uh, got some popcorn, and also had to get some lemons, so. I also needed avocados, but I forgot those. That's, that's fine. Um, but I'm feeling a bit better. Nature does wonders. I will admit that. It's great news, great news for nature. Yay for nature for making things better. <laughs> and just smiling at strangers. That's also, it's also medicine. So I'll see you guys at home. Thank you.